G'day, how you going? Ian Harris from Australia here, and my good buddy again, Valentine. This is a video how to do an effective and easy moon in acrylics using your retarder. And you're gonna need something, I've used a Milo tin and a box cutting blade to put on the paper to cut out virtually piece of paper that size and end up using over your background for your moon size. You can make it any size you like. Now you can either make your moon a full moon or a half moon fading. Personally, I like mine evaporating into the sky or fading out, but to me, it just looks more artistic, eh? Now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a simple moon with craters and some sky night sky with clouds okay now i'll show you how to get these craters done if i come closer you can just see all those lines and that how we'll get it like that these darker lines here i did off camera but i'll show you the rest how it's all done so let's go over to the art table with valentine valentine's my cameraman eh and um We'll get painting that moon, okay? Okay, we get our canvas, and as normal, I wet my canvas for the acrylic paint to go on. Get a dry brush from the beginning. Brush the water into the canvas. Then I'm getting my liquid white with medium retarder. I always use a medium retarder in my acrylics. Get this with white paint. So as we can blend, I always paint my boards white. Now we need the sky colours. So you pick out your sky colours that you're going to do. And I'll go for a beautiful phalo blue. And maybe some purple violet purple. Because I'd like it to be blue and kind of dark on one side. A bit similar to the way I did the moon painting, the moon set. Now these paints, I'll just wash this brush. Okay. I want the sky blue. This side sort of purpley blue and into darker black. This is just the background for the moon. So this goes on like so. I'll get a drier brush and I'm gonna blend this into everything. And I'm like, because I know it's going to be dark over here, I'll put a bit more darker blue. Now this has got retarder in it as well, all these paints. See, that's blending like oil. Alright, I'll wash this brush. Right, I'm just getting my purple, violet, purple. I'll start the dark on the edge. I'll use the same brush for here and let it fade into that blue, blend it into that blue, blend it whichever way you find it comfortable. See it's nice and dark on the edge, I love it. And now over here it's going to fade. Now I'm just going to wipe that on a rag, on my pants, whatever, just so as I can Blend it more, get some of the paint out of the brush. Blend it into this blue, so there's no harsh, this color under that color, it's kind of like airbrushed, you know, it looks like an airbrush. We'll go like this anyway. Now, we'll get some black. Same, not even washing the brush out. Get the black into some of that blue this blue and I'm mixing black and this blue with some retarder because that's going to make it act like an oil and over here see it's on the camera it might look black but it, it's not black black see I'm barely touching the canvas I'm just tickling it in there tickling it tickling it but here I'm on the canvas now I'll just wipe that on a rag again Just so as I can blend that into the blue. 
The trick to get your acrylics to look blendable and wet is that retarder. Because the moon is a night sky, so we're sort of making a night sky, if you know what I mean. You can do a lovely blue sky and a green ground, it doesn't matter. But see, I've got to stop, you've got to learn to stop. I'm going to go and wash these now. Wait, just wait one minute while I wash my brushes, okay? Yeah. But before we put the moon on, I'm getting a bit of that white that I used on the board. And we're going to do those kind of, you know, space stuff that's in the sky. So we whack that on just with the fan brush. Just simply like that. I'll give you a close up look at that. Look at that. That's all it is, right? I mean, you can leave it like that if you want. And we just blend this in so it looks like misty cloud smoke dust in the night sky lit up by the moon and you can see see I don't want to play for too much that's all it's done see all right and we'll do a little bit more just to break it up so we might be put some over here somewhere just Get it on the fan brush and don't don't even think about it just sort of I want the moon somewhere here so we'll sort of put that that'll do wiggle it like you're a nervous bugger and we'll just blend this in as well very lightly I'm very lightly touching that so you want to leave some thick bits in there but you don't want it too distinct like a cloud. These are not clouds. These are like mist, smoke, space, Milky Way style sort of structures in the night sky. It's a clear night sky and you can see everything. That's it. Okay. You see what we've done? They're not clouds. They're just sort of that mist. Okay, I've blow dried it. The good thing about acrylics, you can dry your work. I've taped that on there. It's just sitting on there. I've got my good kitchen sponge again. We'll start with white, but always wet your sponge a bit and squeeze it so it's not really dry and porous. I'll just start off with the white and make sure your paint is watered down enough so it'll spread from the sponge onto your board here. Because what we're going to do, the sponge helps it give it that fading look as well. That's why I like using a sponge. I haven't even cleaned my sponge, I'll just wipe it. Now I'm going to add some greys just to give it some moon colour. Okay. You can practice this on a bit of paper or something if you like. I'll wipe that again and get a lighter grey. Now what we do, if you want your moons to look a lot better than just a stamped sponge looking moon, what we do, we get a brush like so, okay, get it wet, wet it and wipe it on a rag. Get your darker colour that you've had on your board okay you can even use a knife if you want i'm just using any dark color because this is a demo right let's say we want one there so we'll get it on there okay get this brush that i just showed you and just stamp it in the middle and then start going around in circle and then to the outside edge and what that's doing is slowly blending but when we take that off it'll look like a beautiful kind of
crater. So we've got one there, let's probably put one about maybe here. Got our paint there. See how I put that on there? And I'm getting this brush, and I'm just in the middle. See, I've, I've opened it up, and now I'm gonna go around in circles. And as I go around, take your time, it slowly bleeds it out, spreads it out, whatever. Okay, if you do a full moon, you can do this with some distinct craters on there, okay? That just gives them those crater looks, if you want that look. So, we will now peel that off. Because what I do, I get around the edge with some white and I, I like to crisp it up. So this is dry, I can lean on it. I've just got a little flathead brush. And I like, bring it in. See where I can see white in here? I just sort of temp it up a bit. But I'd like that to be dry before I do it. Because it's wet, it's gonna create some dramas for me. And if you at home haven't done it before and try it, you had a bloody hell did he do it, rah, rah, rah. He didn't say that, so I'm just trying to. But if you, you can get an idea what that white I just put on is starting to do. It's given it that domed, atmospheric, 3D look. And I love it when this is faded away because when we put the clouds on, it gives it more clarity, more not clarity, it just gives it, to me, it just looks more artistic. I mean, you can really, where are we? Get a, a brush, keeping the paint dry. I mean, uh, don't put anything in it. If you wanted to, I'm just using my mind here, you can really depthen that up and bring some, you know how the craters have those hair splatter lines coming off them? If you really want to go to that extreme, you can do that. Get our fan brush again. Now that, that, that moon's fine as it is, but it looks a bit like it's just floating there. It doesn't look right. So we get our paint, our white paint. This paint is going to be blended. So I've got retarder in it. And as we do, uh, it's so easy to you spin around, get a choppy row of clouds in there, okay? Get some more on the brush, any old way and fade it to the edge of that painting like so. Oh, just like so. Then we get our blending brush. Blending from the middle. So that's fading down. I'll just show you that. Now see them clouds? Dark, blended and fading down. That looks fine, but we're going to put some more in front of that now. We start here now. Oh, golly, golly, golly. God. And this is going to put that cloud in front of this cloud. So that's what we're going to do. And like I say, if you're happy and you know it, paint a cloud. Okay, this might go up there like so. And that's just going to be blended as well. And it's, it's brought some of the underneath colours through as well. But you'll get an idea. I think I went a bit mad on these choppy row of clouds. Okay, just to finish that cloud off, I get the same white paint, the same fan brush that I'm using, and I'll find some areas, and I'll really put some tops on these clouds here, if you know what I mean. It's distinguishing the different depth and layers that you've got on your piece. And not to forget, we better put some stars in there. So I'll just, whatever's left on the brush, the, the trick with stars is to have it really wet. Okay, if it's not wet enough, it won't work. I don't want to do too many here, I just want to... 
That'll do. There. That'll do. See what that's done? It's put some tiny hundreds of little star dots there because the rest, the rest of the stars I'll do with this little thing. I'll get the paint unthinned, unretarded, just raw paint because you want a few. They're just the really distant ones and you can just plop your bigger ones on wherever you feel fit. In, in some of the clouds there, in some of the mixed of those ones. But don't make the mistake of getting carried away. You've got to learn to stop playing with it and put the brush down. Have a cup of tea or something. That is a simple moon in the sky. I'm going to leave it like that. You can post what we should put underneath, whether it be just water or a field or rocks or I don't know. Let's come up with some suggestions so we can finish this moon painting, okay? Because I reckon moons are great and that's the way I love to do a moon. If you like what we're doing, tell a friend. If you're not happy with what we're doing, you better tell everybody, okay? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.